Okay, folks, um, we're losing light quick. I hope I can get this done while it's still daylight. Um, the, you can tell it's really steaming. I took it off the fire. I've got the top going. you got to keep that base lit. Keep it good and hot. Now what I want to do is, I'm going to put a glove on for this because these clips are probably pretty hot. I'll take these clips off. Now I mixed my batter up. I'm going to take the top off, set the top to the side, and I can tell just by the color of the inside how hot this is. Whoa, that's hot. Yeah, that's very hot. So, I'll put another glove on. Now I only did half of a mix because I only wanted to make one muffin, so I'm going to make one muffin. I sprayed that with canola oil. I'm going to take my muffin mix. Oh, I can hear it sizzling as soon as it goes in there, so it's pretty warm. Got my muffin mix in the muffin tin. <laughs> As you can see. Now I'll put the lid back on. I'll put four clips on. Make sure it's sealed real good. And I'll get it back on the base fire. I'll fan that base fire back up. Get it good and hot. So there it is. It's sitting on the fire. Now I'm going to bake it for about 30 minutes. And then we'll come right back and we'll see what happens. We'll see if there's a muffin in there or not. So wish me luck, folks. And I'll catch you in just a little bit. Just a little update. We're 20 minutes into cooking our muffin. About 20 minutes. And there it is, and I'll get right back to you once um, it's finished, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, folks, I hope you can even see me. Um, we're losing our light fast. I just took the slow. I just took the um, Dutch oven off the fire. Let's see if there's a muffin. I hope you can see. Oh, well, look at there. Looks like a muffin. Sure enough. Oh, I think it's done. Oh, look at there. Only stuck a little bit, but it's done. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's hot. Very hot. I just made one. 
See the bottom's peeling off, but it didn't burn at all. It's just, it's kind of dark brown, but. Oh my gosh, is that good. Oh, it's just hot, super hot. Break it, break it apart. Oh, I hope you can see this. I'm going to turn it towards the snow so you got a background of light, sort of. Look at that. It's full of blueberries. It's soft, but it's got kind of like a soft, kind of crispy crust to it. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Well, don't look at it long. I'm sticking it in my mouth. Mmm. That, that couldn't taste that good at home. Uh-uh. Okay. Now, I had a heck of a time keeping the fire going. All my wood's wet. It's terribly wet. So I fanned it with a piece of birch bark. Just kept fanning it to keep it alive. And it worked. It worked just perfect. And I actually, I actually cooked this for um, 40 minutes instead of 30. And I think I could have cut it back to 30 minutes. And it still would have been done. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been as brown. But actually, I like it the way it is. With that little bit of crispy background. Oh, and the center is just moist and soft. Excellent. Thank you, David, at Real Really Big Monkey One for putting me onto this little project, this idea. Thanks for it, watching, everybody. Okay, folks. I don't know if you could even see in the muffin when it was finished. I've still got a bite here. I hope you can see it. But it worked like a charm. It worked like a charm. I noticed that the video was so dark. I'm going to run it anyway, but hopefully you can see that muffin now. You know, with a little bit of white background, maybe you can see it. It turned out perfect. It's awesome. So thanks, folks, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.